How's it going, everyone? It's Feral Cabbage here, and welcome to Coffee Talk. As far as I'm aware, this should be the second to last episode of the series. I know, it's sad. I, I honestly really love this game. But that also means that we're probably reaching some final stuff. So if I'm going to guess, with what I'm assuming Myrtle and Agua are gone in their little... I don't want to say honeymoon... Or the little vacation, by faith, they're gonna come back a couple. We all know it. Um, and I think, isn't, um, what's their faces? Um, the uh, Gala and Hyde? Yeah, Hyde. They're gone too. They're on some trip, I think. So that leaves Rachel to deal with her stuff and Bailey's and Lua to deal with their stuff. So I'm excited to see where this goes. The evening whispers is with the people for stricter gun laws. Okay. New healthier fury sedative might be available sooner. Action video game Rising Hell blamed for violence in school. Okay, Jack Thompson over here. Alright, let's start the day. Connor now it's gonna be Freya. Oh, and Neil's gone too. Forgot. Welcome. Good evening, Mr. Bailey's. Evening. Am I the first customer tonight? You are. That's new. Why are you looking side to side, dude? Freya's not here? She said she's coming later tonight. Got something to do with meeting some fellow writer friends or something. Why not do it here? It's her favorite place, right? Her friends have visited this place from time to time. Just not as much as her. <laughs> Writers gathering, huh? I wonder what writers talk about when they're hanging out. I've known them for some years now. She has this habit, you know? If she says they're friends, it means they're just hanging out normally. But if she said they were writer friends, they're probably talking about work. Either giving each other feedback on their latest drafts, or sharing and validating ideas. Interesting. They even use code words for meeting up. Oh, it's not like that. She doesn't realize that what that's what she says. I just picked up on it. That's even more interesting. Are you always so observant? It's part of the job. <laughs> Why is that? People come in here every day. Some of them aren't as talkative as others, but their body language can be loud and clear. They can tell you a lot of things. Whether they need a friendly ear, or just want to be alone. It applies to what they're ordering as well. Because, you know, sometimes what people want isn't what they need. That's deeper than I would have thought. So, what are you reading for me now? I won't say. <laughs> Why? That would break the charm. <laughs> the hell was that? I guess I can say this much. Whatever I say or do to our customers, it's always related to what I'm getting from their body language. Including our interaction now? Including our interaction now. Man, now I see why he doesn't want me to share. Even that was enough to make me feel like I'm naked in front of you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything. What are you having tonight? Hot chocolate. With ginger and cinnamon. And that's a good drink for a bitter heart. Oh, uh, that's uh, chocolate, right? Chocolate. So it was like, it was hot, I already forget. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. A good drink for a bitter heart. This might sound insane, okay? So bear with me here. But, hear me out here. 
what if... Hmm. What if I get... It says he wants a bitter heart. I remember... Is bitter heart a drink? Chocolate... Ginger and cinnamon, right? That's what he wanted? Brew. Bitter heart. Huh. Serve. Okay. Here you go. Hmm. You're a pretty romantic person, huh? That was clever. Hold on. He needs a drink for a bitter heart. And the drink he ordered was a bitter heart. I feel like... Shadows that will help you try and hide. I remember there, like, I needed to serve a bitter heart at one point. It was um, when I was playing in the coffee shop mode. I promise I'm not cheating. I occasionally look up a drink because I don't want to, like, mess with the story too much. But I never cheat actively like that. I remember seeing the title Bitter Heart in there. But that's cool, though. I'm proud of myself for picking up on that. You're a pretty romantic person, huh? Spending extra time decorating this drink. Only for special people and special drinks. Say, Feral, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Anything. How old are you? Old enough to open a coffee shop. Haha. <laughs> oh, man. I guess I should say sorry for asking that. It's alright. Well, that's the only answer I could give. Now you're making me wonder what I should ask next. What the hell? <laughs> dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Why are you both looking at me like that? Freya. You look... Horrible. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, you do. No, I don't. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to echo our dear barista. Yeah, you do. What happened? You better be asking me what didn't happen. Because the answer would be... Proper sleep. And decent progress on my draft. You need to rest. And miss my deadline? Hell no. Sorry, Baileys. I won't be able to keep you company. Because I have to finish this thing. And for that, I'll need a whole hell of a lot of espresso. Are you sure about that? You really should just rest. Get something to help you sleep. Espresso. Please. No. I am not getting you espresso. Hell no. Hold on. What should I... What should I get him? Let's see. What should I get her? What would, like, be a good wake-up? Like, a sleepy drink? I know tea is good, but... Cough? <laughs> Just get her cough syrup. Let's see. Let's just check her all. Bed chamber? Yeah, let's get her a bed chamber. It'll make her sleepy. I get, I get deadlines are important and all, but she really needs her sleep, bro. You're gonna get the bed chamber, dude. Good night. <laughs> Serve it. Here you go. What the hell, dude? This isn't even coffee. Drink. But this isn't what drink dot 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 okay it's on the house it better be oh how was the meeting it was pretty good i got a lot of good advice that also mean things and 
not a small number of them, mind you, need to be rewritten. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's not that bad. Rewriting is part of the process. It's just that... It's just... Dot, dot, dot. I'm going to my usual corner. Although, thanks to your drink, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to stay awake or not. She looks horrible. She does. But don't worry about her. She'll finish it. This is the first time she acted like this? No. But this time, the stakes are pretty high. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. So... What brings you here today? Dot 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 dot. <sighs> to be honest, I'm not even sure myself. I had no plan tonight. And this place just came to mind. Out of the blue. To think your subconscious then. I guess you should. Ooh. Da -da 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 -da. Not sure whether I should thank it or not, though. Hi, Lua. Hi, Baileys. Da da da. Da da da. How? Da, 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 da. You first. No, you first. Dot, dot, dot. I was just going to ask, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I'm good, yeah. I mean, dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Um, I think I need to order something first. Oh, of course, of course. Go ahead. Hi, Farrell. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please. That's a specific request. Do I even know that? Oh, I do. Okay. Coffee. Ginger. Cinnamon. Here it is. Thank you. My grandma used to make this drink for me. It reminds me so much of her. It reminds me of when I was growing up. My family. Da -da 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 -da. How's work? It's going pretty okay. You? I'm not taking any new jobs at on at the moment. Because... Well, you know... Yeah, I get it. You have enough in your savings, right? That's a very Lua thing to ask. But yeah, I do. Thanks to that last annoying job. It went well in the end. It kind of did. They paid me on time, at least. And the pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. So my problems are settled, I guess? And what problems are those? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. I'll tell you this. But don't tell anyone, okay? Not even Farrell, who's standing right in front of us. Hey, man, I'm just trying to listen in, okay? Like, I'm just trying to get that coffee talk. But, um, tss. Just ignore me. Not even Farrell. Okay. So there's this girl. I love her. We've been going out for a few years. But I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a, about a week ago. It wasn't anything new. But somehow, things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume 
Both of us were just tired. Knowing that we were fighting against centuries of tradition. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea. But I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Isn't that what you're doing right now? Why? Even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe? Or tiredness? Or knowing that, chances are, we won't be able to find the best solution for anyone anyway. Dot, dot, dot. Bailey's. I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? I don't want to affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can just take a break from work without so many problems. I'm not a professional as her, you see. I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I put it on a lot of masks. Just to hide the feelings I was going through. That sounds difficult and uncomfortable. It is. But a friend told me once, you gotta do what you gotta do. He must be a pretty cool guy. He is. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. What's next for us, Baileys? Oh shit. Here goes Tuck. Here comes the good question. Dude, I am fixing my posture right now. It's the. I don't know, Lua. I. I met some new people this week. Including that supermodel? You knew? That girl in the corner told me. Yeah. Yeah, including that supermodel. How does that make you feel? Like a fool. What? He said a lot of things I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of... Truths. He's a bit like you, you know. Attitude-wise. You get along with him. Doubt it. Opposites attract, but similarity breeds contempt. Ever heard of that before? A lot. I'm a certain hipster elf. And after listening to that guy, what's your stance on... You know... Us. I'm not sure, Baileys. About we... About you, yourself? Had any similar experiences this week? I have, in fact. You met a vampire. I met a werewolf. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds, indeed? What's your werewolf say? Hmm. Not much, to be honest. But he made a good point about the importance of family. Bailey's, I know I've been stubborn about you wanting, to wanting me to make peace with my family. And I know why that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kind of hit me hard. What was it? I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family. When I actually want to do that anyway, for myself. Dot, dot, dot. You know me, Baileys. I do. You know how I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families. Which makes me an asshole, I guess. I get why you think that way, Lua. Blood is thicker than water. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. What should we do? Lua. Jess Baileys? Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get with your fam- I'll- Oh! <laughs> I almost said I was trying to get with- With your family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier thing to do, after all. But you lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among other elves. An outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people? Sounds great. You'll live a long time. 
but she won't have the perfect health and perfect life that's the elven privilege. But it's not a perfect life without you. Dot, 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 dot. What if a relationship doesn't last? You'll have lost everything. You'll blame me. Lua, I will never blame you for anything. If we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would never have blamed himself. A hundred reasons for why some, something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that won't happen with us. You know why? Because I've learned so many things by being with you for 10 years. It made me a better person. So, you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. Aww. I don't need an immortal life. Because without you, don't be a life worth living. Bailey's. You've been saying that a lot, Lua. I... Believe in you. Da-da-da-da-da. da 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 Wait, hold on. Lua? Did they just kiss? Bailey's? I feel like we're living in a soap opera. <laughs> it seems so. So, what's our plan? Tomorrow's Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. I want you to come with me. What? That's so sudden. Did you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, well no. It's just... I'm not prepared to meet him. He'll be fine. You don't want to tell them about this first? It'll be alright. Well... They never forbade you from dating other races? They're not big fans of elves, that much is true. But you can prove them wrong. Hmm. Okay. This could be a good first step. It is. It's set, then. I don't know what will happen tomorrow. But we can think about it. And anything else? Later. I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me... I had my doubts, but now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua, thank you. Are you still staying at Farron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. So wiggity so woot. Huh? <laughs> what about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. Taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday night. Dude, fate is on our side, it seems. Bro, way to go, Bailey's, bro. <laughs> hey, Farrell. Yes? We're leaving. Thank you so much for keeping up with us this past week. The pleasure is mine. We're off, then. See ya. Thank you for coming. Da, 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 da. That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in the real world. I just pretend not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing the story. So I have to see their struggle through to the end. It's important for the writing, you know. That's cold. What? It's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now. I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't... Why, why are you hornswoggled? What? Oh my god! Holy shit! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Whoa, okay, listen, man. 
Whoa. Freya, get over here. Get over here. Get, get, get the back here, bro. This wolf? Is that him? I think so. Welcome, sir. Are you crazy? You can't just treat a werewolf in a fury like a normal customer? Trust me. He must have his reasons for coming here. Dot, 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 dot. You can relax, sir. Do you need anything? Something to calm you down, maybe? Dot, 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 dot. I know exactly what to get him. Is she knocking? He's knocking. What was Galahad? It was Galahad was tea, ginger, and cinnamon, right? No. Tea, ginger, and honey, right? No, shit. <laughs> it was, ah, uh, tea, milk, ginger? Galahad, awesome. Ooh, here's your... Bro, chill. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. Holy shit. What the hell? Is that really him? After seeing the reaction to the drink, 100%. Well, whoever he is. This place survived. Thankfully, yeah. Uh, but I think I should probably close up shop early. Don't want to cause any more ruckus. And I need to clean up some of the mess anyway. Good idea. Can you get back all right by yourself? I'll manage. Take care on your way back. You be careful too. See you tomorrow. See ya. Wow. <laughs> Holy. Wow. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. I'm screenshotting that one. Wow. I need a minute to process that. I hope he's good. <laughs> uh, let's, let's see what happens next, to be honest. Couch Shella 2020, do's and don'ts, noted. Atlantic Ambassador in talks with fire regarding immigration. Okay. Weirdstein Company criticized for unfair depictions of werewolf in their latest box office hit. Yeah, werewolves aren't that violent. I mean, are, my sore is still standing, so welcome. Hey, Farrell. Good evening, Freya. You look very cheerful today. It's all thanks to you. What did I do? <laughs> I finally got a good night's sleep last night. Like, I slept like a log. A proper 12 hours of closing my eyes and not thinking about anything. Good for you. You really needed that. I know. But I have the deadline coming. I've been pushing myself to finish this draft. A bit too much, I guess. So how's it going now? You won't believe this. I probably will. But when I woke up this afternoon, the words just flowed through me like water. 
Not force crap like I've been writing recently. And that's why taking a break is important. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to start lecturing me now. So, what's your plan? Now, as in right this moment? I plan on going to the bathroom and wash my face. And after that, I'll continue writing. S sounds like a solid plan. You know where the restroom is. That's it? Oh no. <laughs> okay, I need something to drink now. Freya, you're unemployed. Don't waste your money on coffee shop drinks. That is so weird. Coming from the coffee shop owner. I know. You've been a regular for years. If you only need the vibes of this place, just right here. No, I can't do that. You don't have any customers tonight. What'd I do if this place went bankrupt? It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go to your work, okay? But, but... Who is it? See, there's a customer coming right now. So, don't worry about me. Gala. This is, should be interesting. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Hi, Gala. Dot, dot, dot. What's wrong? I know you're a man of few words, but this maybe is pushing it a bit. Dot, dot, dot. Freya. Feral. I am truly very sorry about what happened yesterday. Gala? Hey, it's alright. No one got hurt, right? And the coffee shop's fine. Don't think about it too much, Gala. Like Freya said, no casualties and no problems with the coffee shop. Da 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 da. I still need to redeem myself for the mess I made and the scare I gave you. I'm sure there's something I can do. Hmm. Why don't you buy something for the lady here? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Hey, what'd you mean? Do you want anything to drink, Freya? No. It's alright, Gala. I insist. You don't have to. Please accept it. At least it'll help me stop feeling so guilty, at least. A little. Alright, alright. I wouldn't mind a coffee, not espresso, mind you. Something with a little less of a kick. Do you know how to make sugar and spice? The one with, the one with cinnamon? Yes. A cup of sugar and spice, please. Um... That was really cool when Gala was like punching the phone down so I couldn't look up Gala had. That was really cool. I, I, that was like as much, like as much as I wanted to look at the recipe, that was so, that really threw me off my game and that was excellent. Like that was really well done in my opinion. Sugar and spice coming right up. Sugar and spice for the lady with the vices. Hey. Oh, well, I won't complain. Thank you, Gala. Don't mention it. Feral, are you sure there's something I can do for you? You don't have to do anything, Gala. It's fine. Dot, dot, dot. But to be honest, I'm curious. What happened yesterday? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken... You usually stay indoors during the full moon, don't you? I usually do. But there was an emergency at the hospital yesterday. What kind of emergency? Hmm. The hospital went really packed yesterday. After that announcement... An announcement? The one saying that a replacement government-issued Furies tentative will be available soon. Releasing that news on the day of a full moon was just... Stupid. So many restless werewolves came, asking about the sedative, which isn't ready yet. But that announcement said it wasn't ready. Just, it was coming soon. You think people read the whole article? They only saw the headline, or glanced at the news stall, 
and then they went straight to the hospital. I don't blame them, though. Finding out that the only pu publicly available sedative is dangerous is difficult for some people. I ended up having to explain it to dozens of werewolves. I even had to put some rogue werewolves in isolation rooms. It was that bad, huh? Yeah, to the point where we ran out of rooms to put them in. That's why, at the end of my shift, I left immediately. Normally, I'd have asked a friend to lock me in one of our isolation rooms, of course. But I couldn't, so I rushed right back to my apartment. But it was too late. Thankfully, I was in this area, and I managed to force myself to come to your place. Gala, excuse me for asking this. Yes? But you didn't hurt anyone on the way here, right? As far as I remember, no. And I didn't see any blood on, it, on my clothes. That's good to hear. This might sound overly confident, considering what happened yesterday. But I might have enough control to make sure I don't hurt anyone. As long as I have something to direct my fury towards. Usually, I end up throwing stuff around me. Or, worst case, hurting myself. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. Despite all that, I'm so glad no one got hurt. Always looking for the more positive side, aren't you? Just doing my job. Thanks, both of you. I really mean it. But please. If there's anything I can do to pay, but I think it's anything I can do to help. Please, don't hesitate to ask me right away. Will do. In the meantime, can I order a drink? Sure, what are you having? The same as yesterday. Yeah, I can't blame you. I would load up on some Galahads right about now. Just to make sure. Tea. I press milk instead. Tea, milk, ginger. Here you go. Galahad. Right up. Here's your special brew. Thank you. Da 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 da. The drink that saved me. Once again, thank you. For helping me find this drink. By the way, Gala. Now that you can be 100% sure that the drink is your natural sedative, why don't you put some in a bottle and carry it with you everywhere? That's the plan. It has to be warm, though. I can use a vacuum flask, I suppose. I'll give it a try. I'll keep it a. I'll give it a try next full moon. Da 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 da. Don't worry, Freya. I'm going to stay in my place for the next full moon. I'm not taking any risks. Before I can make sure how effective my that remedy is. Oh, phew. Call it now, uh, Rachel, or like the the, the dad. What the? R Rachel? What's going on? Ha! What else? Y your father? Of course. What the hell was he thinking? Coming backstage at Couchella. Just to get into an argument with my manager? Huh? Before we continue, Farrell, a cafe latte, please. Coming right up. getting faster with this. I like it. Cafe latte? Here you go. Oh, I should have done some latte art. Your cafe lattes are ready. Thanks. How'd you manage to get backstage? Oh, how'd he manage to get backstage? He told security he was my father. He messaged me about coming beforehand. Said he was just going to wish me luck. I told him that to let him in, of course. He's still my father. Things were nice at first. Then my manager came. And... Ugh. I don't know why he hates him so much. It's showbiz. I'm mature enough to know what's good or bad for me. Dot, 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 dot. What happened after that? Mr. Lester told the security guards to kick him out. He 
he's still allowed in the festival area. I saw him in the crowds. Did the concert go well, at least? Oh, yeah. And then the arguments backstage. Everything was great. I was the first one to play on the main stage. Usually, no one plays, pays much attention on whoever's on first. But there are a thousand people in the audience during my session. Nice. So, we don't need to be at the event anymore after this. Not really. I did my stage time. And then there's the press conference after my show. After show press conference? Yeah, the pre-show was done yesterday. Today was a small one. There was almost a dozen journalists who wanted to interview me. So we decided to do a mini conference. Good for you. You're totally back in the game, huh? I guess I am. Thanks to Mr. Lester. I would say it's because of you. But your manager's probably worked on some of his influence too. Wait, but your manager probably worked some of his influence too, my bad. <laughs> so, why are you here? Ugh. Because of Dad, of course. I told him to come here this evening. He really needed to set things straight. He needs to stop messing with my manager so much. But because of this evening is the only time we can meet, I can't go to the party Mr. Lester is hosting. What party? He's hosting a party for the VIPs and artists he manages. At a club at Belltown. Is it okay for you to go to the party without a guardian? I'm 18, remember? I'm an adult. Yeah, but you can only enter some clubs if you're 21. Not this time. Because Mr. Lester's my manager, and it's his party. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. It's true. No, I know you can do that by using his name. But I don't think you should do... I don't think he should do that without you. No, I don't think he should do... Wow, I cannot speak right now. Sorry, it's like 11.30 right now. I should probably be heading to bed soon. But I don't think he should do that with you. Why? I'm an adult... No, you're not, Rachel. Have you ever been to one of Lester's parties? Well, no. You have? Not personally. I've heard stories. What stories? Uh, yeah, he knows how to party. That's good, then. Hmm. That's not necessarily a good thing. Knowing how to party... Might mean something else entirely. Err... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll find out. Especially if you keep Lester on as your manager. Personally, I don't mind wild parties. But inviting an underage person to his party? That might be a bit too far. Welcome, uh, huh? Ugh. Meow. Hendry? That, Oh, I kind of want to like hold the cat and like give it a kiss on his little... You know what I mean? Yeah. What the hell? Oh no. Dad! What? Rachel, is that Mr. Hendry? Yes? Dad! What happened? Farrell, can you get a cup of milk for him? Please. Just milk? Just milk. Meow. Mm, On it. He's a cute little kitty cat, though. Milk. Here you go. Here. What's this? Oh. Oh, look, the little cat. I missed him drinking. Yeah, that's so cute, though. Hold on. I got a new notification here. Ooh. New thing for Rachel. Favorite things. I love my family, cats, milk, and you. What I'm doing with my life. I've been dancing, singing, and trying to achieve my dreams since I was 13. And I'm not stopping now. Cool beans. Thank you. Wait, another... No, from where? Oh, from Hendry. Favorite things. Family, music, what I'm doing with my life. I'm trying to be a better father while running a record store. We'd love to see it. Dad, please hold on. 
Oh, shit. Can someone please help me call an ambulance, please? They're on their way. I've contacted the hospital. Thank you. I've also contacted our Neku Mean Me <laughs> expert personally. She's off shift right now, but she's also on the way. Thank you so much. I don't know what I would have happened without your help. Don't mention it. Da 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 da. Here they come. I'll go with you. Okay. Oh my god, a little kitty cat. Oh boy. That was really something, huh? Yeah. Two days in a row. An emergency at your place. Well, at least some people think of your place. That's their go-to when they need help. You're right. It's not every day you look at two things from the bright side. Wait, it's not every day you look at things from the bright side. I don't know why I'm stuttering every word right now. Ha! <laughs> well, I'm one of your coffee shop disciples, right? So I'm kind of... I kind of understand them. I hope Henry's alright. Me too. At least he's in good hands now. What's your plan for the rest of the night? Well, that was all pretty hectic. But I need to continue writing. Take your time and place, then. Will do. Dark chocolate. A warm and calming darkness. Alright, well, I'm going to be leaving this episode here. Wow. That was quite the episode. Honestly, Hendry as a little exhausted cat was, like, weirdly cute. I don't know how to describe it. But, yeah, I'm just excited to see where this goes. Next like, next episode, I believe, will be the final episode. Unless there's, like, a secret epilogue chapter. Or I might do a episode where I just wipe through all the other etc. achievements. Or maybe the do a showcase of the other endings I heard there are. But that's all for that's all saving up for next time. I'm really excited to see where this goes. But until then, I'm Feral Cabbage. Make sure you subscribe to join the Cabbage Patch. Join the Discord if you want to. Drop a like on the video. Helps a ton, especially with that massive break I accidentally just inadvertently took. It's I, I need as much support as I can. But I'll catch you guys all later. Stay awesome.